Sally and Brangle are getting ready to hunt. Okay, girls, are you ready? Are you ready? We're going to get that cat. We're going to go and get that cat. You're going to get it? Go on, get the cat. They go move on, fast it. and contract the smell of a cat for kilometres. They're helping researchers catch a feline that's been killing dozens of native animals each night. After an hour, the dogs have cornered their prey. Are you ready? Yeah, go for it. Get out of the water. The cat is caught and will now play its part in a project aimed at eradicating them from the area. The feral cat tracking program is the only one of its kind in Australia. It's run here at the Mornington Wildlife Sanctuary, which covers more than 300,000 hectares of land in the central Kimberley. The sanctuary was established 12 years ago to try to restore the numbers of threatened native animal species. Early on, the team based at Mornington's research station found feral cats, some more than a metre long, were the biggest threat to biodiversity in the region. They're having such a devastating impact on our wildlife that we really need to find ways of reducing their numbers or reducing their impacts. To understand the cat's behaviour, they needed to tag as many of the animals as possible. No easy feat when the so-called monster moggies are nocturnal and highly elusive. So Sally and Brangle were recruited and specially trained for the job. The cats they capture are fitted with a GPS locator and camera and then released. So these are um, some of the data that we've been collecting from cats. So every dot here is a GPS location from the cat. What they've found is that bushfires play a huge role. The native animals that survive are left exposed, an easy feast for feral cats. They will travel long ways out to their home range, even up to 12 kilometres, to hunt in an intensely burned area. The findings have been used to craft a fire management program that together with the removal of introduced species like cattle, donkeys and horses, has resulted in native animal numbers increasing fourfold at the property in recent years. Erin Park, ABC News, Mornington Research Station.